Roman Reigns and Jey Uso, Mr. Marshall, we got to talk about it. I know you didn't like the outcome, but the Tribal Combat main event for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship between these two. I actually liked the match. I thought it was a really good match. I know it was a bit boring early on or slower or whatever. I mean, that's every Roman Reigns match, but not that people haven't said that. I saw the Melter today gave it like 2.3 and a half stars or whatever it was. I mean, I don't really, I just saw that, but I'm just thinking like, who cares? Um, I mean, I personally disagree. There were other people that agreed with that, I'm sure. I thought it was a very good main event. It had the drama. People thinking, oh, it was hurt by the fact you knew Jay wasn't winning. I mean, I don't know. I figured Jay wasn't winning. We said that last week. Jay beat Roman at Money in the Bank. He definitely wasn't winning here. But sometimes you never know. When you have a three-year title run, anything can happen. I mean, he could have lost it to his cousin. Roman can lose it whenever the fuck he wants. Obviously, that did not happen. Uh, Solo Sokoa got involved later, then followed by Jimmy Uso, betraying his brother Jay and costing him the matchup. So before we get to the outcome itself and the lack of logic surrounding the betrayal of Jay Uso from Jimmy, your thoughts on the match itself? Was it a worthy main event? Because I've seen a lot of conflicting thoughts from a lot of people. I mean, I think going in, it was easily the main event. I think the match itself, I mean, compared to Rollins and Finn, I think I liked the actual match better with Finn and Seth, but like the story of Jay and Roman like made sense to make it the main event. I just... I think, I think like, was it the greatest Roman match I've seen? No. I think, like, it was definitely slow-paced in the beginning, but that is also more Roman Reigns. Like, the talking and slowing it down is more Roman-style matches. It's not, like, a spot fest. So, mm-hmm. I think it's just a different style of match. I feel like it was closer to, like, Cody and Brock than, than Rollins and Balor. But I thought it, it made sense. I just... I thought the finish... I just hated the finish. I just... I think it was a fine, good match, but the finish just killed it for me. It's just for like the like, it's like the, it's like WrestleMania. Like the match was so good with Cody and Roman, but like yep. you're never gonna watch it back because the finish sucked. And I feel like the finish here, like it was like a swerve. They're gonna like they're gonna talk about tonight, like oh, like he was jealous of it, but like it just the whole logic of like people being like oh yeah, like a promo like four months ago, and he like was jealous of him. I'm like okay, I get that, but like they teamed up after the fact. They beat Roman and Solo. Then Roman and Solo beat the shit out of Jimmy. So then Jay's going to, like, stick up for his brother and his side of the family. He's literally about to win the world championship, and then he helps screws him over and beats him up. Like, I, I just don't think that part of it makes sense. Like, I get, like, oh, he's jealous. But, like, if if Jay won, I feel like that would make sense. But, like, him fighting in Jay's honor or Jimmy's honor just to screw him made legit no sense. And it, like, also, like, teased the fans because he literally, like, theoretically, was about to win. Like, mm-hmm. he hit him with the spear and the splash. Like, that was a one, two, three right there. And his brother just to screw him because he's, quote-unquote, jealous, even though he's fighting in his honor. It makes legit no fucking sense. No, my biggest problem, like I told you earlier, before, I mean, right after it happened and the next day before uh, we took out of, took off out of Detroit, was the fact that I understand the jealousy thing. I'm sure they'll tell that story tonight on SmackDown. Like exactly you said, that was a line from a promo from before they teamed the fuck up. And I know Roman had said on SmackDown leading into SummerSlam, or Paul Heyman actually even made mention, oh, you know, you're you're casting Jimmy aside. But that's typical heel bullshit. Like, Jimmy's, I guess the, what makes him a heel is the fact that he's buying into it and he believes that, which it, it's just complete crap about like, oh, you know, Jimmy's, you know, you, you, whatever he said going into SummerSlam about Jimmy to Jay, that, you know, you, you, you he doesn't need you or you don't need him, blah, blah, blah. And uh, he's going to turn on you someday, and then he ended up being right. All this other sort of shit. Um, And I I don't know, I just, I feel like Jimmy's an idiot for following that. Because again, a lot of those teases of tension between the two before Jimmy got taken off the show a month ago, they had teamed up at Money in the Bank, and they won. They beat Roman Reigns, and Jimmy was the one to turn on Roman, not Jay. Jimmy was the first one to turn on Roman first, followed by Jay. And the whole reason why they wanted to team up against Roman was because they thought their... Bond, his brothers, was stronger than the bond they had with their cousin, who was manipulative and abusive. And that was the reason why, the whole reason why they wanted to take the title off of Roman Reigns and knock him down a couple pegs was because he's become this manipulative, uh, abusive asshole as the tribal chief, as the champion. So you're telling me, Mr. Marshall, I'm not so, you're, you're not telling me, but I'm just saying in general, you're telling me that Jimmy wants Roman to be champion more than Jay? So he wants to keep the belt on him? Again, I know the jealousy thing, whatever. But he hates his brother that much that he would allow Roman to still be champion and be the tribal chief and be the dick that he's always been for the last three years. Like, that, to me, is what doesn't make sense. No, I, 
completely agree. I think that's like, I, I, that's like, that's what I don't get. Like I said, if he won the match, I feel like it would have been fine because you could tell that story. Like, yes. when I got beat up and shit, you just like went on your own. You now the champion. Da 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 da. Like, okay, I get it. But like him screwing him. Like you said, the story was like them joining together to beat Roman because Roman's like a manipulative dickhead cousin that like fucked their whole family. But then just to turn on him just because he was jealous that his brother was about to become champion, like it made no fucking sense. They were teamed up and beat him like a month ago. Mm-hmm. So like I like I said, I know they're gonna try their best to like I good luck to Jimmy, honestly. Good luck to Jimmy to try to fucking explain this shit, but I don't know. I think it just makes Jimmy, if anything, look like the biggest idiot ever. Like, him and being like, oh, like, you, you're, like, he, like you said, he looks like an idiot because he bought into the heels basically saying, like, oh, like, your brother's casting him aside. When, the, in theory, he, or, like, in reality, he was literally defending his brother to then knock off the guy that they both wanted to see fall. <sighs> We know why they did this. I said this to you when it happened. We know why they did this. This is why, it, it, not that it makes sense, but we know why they did it. They need a feud for the next couple of months on SmackDown. Roman's not coming back until Crown Jewel, at least in November, which hasn't been announced yet. I know they announced Survivor Series. It is odd they haven't announced the Saudi show. I would be surprised if they don't go back to Saudi one more time before the end of the year. They've announced every other show for the rest of 2023. If Roman's not in Saudi and they're not doing a Saudi show, we're not seeing Roman until fucking January. We know that as a fact. And if there's no top champion to challenge for right now on SmackDown, they need something to fill the time. This was the same issue. I I understand they suffered the same issue when Roman was gone. When Roman was gone last year on Raw, when Raw had no fucking world champion for a full ass year, and now Roman or Raw finally has a world champion, which is great. What does SmackDown have though? Listen, I enjoy SmackDown most weeks, but when Roman's not around, then I I know he hasn't been around full time for the last couple of months since Mania. But coming out of WrestleMania, though, they still had the Usos and Solo on the same side feuding with Owen, Zayn, and Riddle. What, what do we have now? We have Jimmy and Jay. Okay. We have AJ and Karrion. That's not a fucking main event feud. I think they're having another match tonight. Who could possibly... And I like both guys a lot. Who could possibly care? Theory? I mean, Theory's not... They are not. They can't make the U.S. Championship the focal point of that show. They can. They could. But they can't because the belt means nothing right now because Theory's reign has sucked so far, at least in the last couple of months. Him and Escobar are not those guys. And SmackDown is a great roster too, but like, there's no main event program to really carry the show in the th- in the time being. Like, there's been points in the last year when Raw and SmackDown didn't have a champion. They had Judgment Day to fall back on, and the other members of the Bloodline, and Owens and Zayn, and so, like, they don't have that anymore. Now it's just Jimmy and Jay, and Solo as well. But you saw the report, I'm sure, from WrestleVotes that some creative member wanted this to drag out till Mania. I know that was their dream to have a singles match at WrestleMania. I don't know how the fuck you can drag this out until then if both guys are full-time and they're going to be interacting with each other every single week until then. Yeah, I think it would be pretty hard to drag it out to WrestleMania. Unless, like, GA went absolute fucking bananas and, like, put Jimmy through a fucking wall or something, like... Like, now and then keep him off TV or something? Right, one of them off TV to then get to that point, but, like... Like I said, you would basically, I would think, I mean, Jay's clearly the baby face. We can say that. Jimmy, I, I guess, is heel. I mean, he turned on his brother, who's a baby face. Solo's a heel. Roman's a heel. Jay's the only baby face in this program at this point. I mean, like I said, you would have to, unless, like, they do the storyline and they basically, like, hospitalize Jay for six months and he finally comes back at WrestleMania. That's the only thing that makes sense yeah. than what you do for the next three months when Roman's not around, so... I mean, yeah, I mean, I, like I said, I think this is, I mean, it's, it's a shame that, like, Jay, he's so fucking over, too. I don't mm-hmm. know if you rewatched it. Like, the crowd was going fucking bananas for him when he came out, like, doing the fucking wave thing that he was doing. Mm-hmm. Like, my dad let him point it out. Like, I feel like Jay has gone over as a baby face. I think he's done well. Like, clearly he's at the end of his career, too. Like, he's in his late 30s. I think him and his brother are 37, 38. So, like, I mean, I don't think they'd be doing 300 dates a year or, like, I know for a while when they were like the Usos, like they were wrestling like over 150 matches a year, which was year year and year over year, like they were like pretty much the workhorse for WWE. I feel like them and Rollins for like three or four years before the COVID, like mm-hmm. before the pandemic, were wrestling the most matches every year. So they're definitely at the end of their career. I I, I feel like I'd like to see him get at least one singles run, even if it was like the U.S. title or mm-hmm. Intercontinental title. At this point, I feel like he's over enough to get there, but. 
I just don't see how they're going to... If they're both on TV, how they're going to flush out for another six months, I just don't see it. No, and it's not like with Ray and Dominic where Dominic turned on Ray and it's like, oh, this is going to culminate at WrestleMania. They put Ray on the other show and they kept them separate for a couple of months before going back to it right before WrestleMania. Are they going to ship Jay or Jimmy to Raw? I mean, Smack, or Raw is enough baby faces. They don't need Jay. Is Raw going to take... I mean, Jimmy, the, the thing is, is that I don't think... Jay, maybe. Jimmy is probably not going to be all that interesting as a singles heel, I don't think, without the bloodline no, story. Not. What'd you say? He, he knows no... Th- you would have to put him with Solo. I don't see Jay as uh, Jimmy as his own guy. I don't. I, I think just you don't. could ship Jay to Raw. Like, maybe he... Hey, maybe he's the one to beat Gunther. I don't fucking know. But... <laughs> I think he could go to Raw and be a babyface and work. Jimmy by himself as a heel, no fucking chance. No, not at all. No, he would need Solo, and I, I don't think he's aligned with them anymore. That's the thing. I know Heyman kind of shot a look, and people are sharing. Again, we'll find out more tonight on SmackDown, I think. I mean, they're not going to give everything away in one night. They like to drag this shit out for months on end. I get it. I, I think Jay or Jimmy's going to be his own guy. I think the end game here that they're building to, because again, I didn't mention this, but they teased tension during the match between Solo and Roman. They wanted you to think that Solo was going to cost Roman the championship. And that did not happen because Jimmy ended up getting involved. I think a four-way here is what they're leading to. And that sounds awesome. But again, that's in four months from now. Not even, that's in like five months from now. Four months from now would be December. I mean, come on, man. I mean, this is ridiculous. That That's forever from now. And that's five, five and a half months from now. I mean, come on. Can we really stretch it out that long? I mean, they're going to try. But that's probably what the Rumble match is going to be. Either Roman and Solo one-on-one or a Bloodline four-way. And that's how they stretch it out until then. I just I just don't know what else to do in the meantime. That's my question, I guess. Yeah, no, I, 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 like I said, I feel like, yeah, I, I, uh, it's it's a lot. I mean, good for, I mean, oh, <laughs> uh, no, like, I know, like, Kane, like, attacked The Undertaker, like, in December or, like, November, October when he debuted and they didn't have a match in WrestleMania, but, I mean, these guys are going to be all over SmackDown. I mean, it's, it's not like, like, not like the back in the day that they only had one show and you could flesh it out, like, yeah. there's no way they're going to be able to do this for six, like I said, Wrestle, Royal Rumble would be, like, six months almost, let That's alone WrestleMania, crazy. which would be another two months after that. Yeah. I, I don't uh, know. I honestly don't know. I really don't. I mean, again, I love these guys. I love the Bloodline story, but it comes to a point where it's like we need to start building other stories. And I think Sheamus had a, made made a great point. He hit a kind of a, a nerve with a lot of people when he when he when he said this in a good way. In that they need to dedicate a lot of the time that they're giving the Bloodline stuff, which is incredible. They need to share some of that television time, you know, storyline magic with the other people on the roster who are getting barely any time. I don't even really know why AJ and Karrion Cross are feuding. I mean, there's a lot of feuds on these shows that are just happening to happen just to kill time. The Bloodline stuff is really the only one that really has any sense of meaning. The Judgment Day stuff on Raw is great with Rollins, and that's been really good. But a lot of these other feuds are just kind of feuds. There's no real story there. We talk about AW and not having a lot of stories for their stuff. They're doing more stories lately, which is nice. We need to see more stories on SmackDown. I'm looking forward to the show tonight. I think Roman's going to be there. I know the report was that he got hurt. I don't. Think, I mean, I don't think it's that bad. And if it was, I mean, listen, he doesn't have to wrestle again for another six months. So <laughs> I think he'll be okay. I don't think it really makes that much of a difference. I think it's weird they haven't announced the Saudi show yet. They probably will do a Saudi show. I just think it's odd they announced Survivor Series and not Saudi. So uh, if they do a Saudi show, I imagine he would be on it. And if not, then I don't know what the fuck they do.